Today marks 20 years since the Springboks lifted the Webb Ellis Trophy. Not only did it put our rugby on the map, it also united the people of a new democratic South Africa. But two decades on, South African rugby is still grappling with inequality. In this special report by Ronald Masinda, we find out why some of the country's townships are still struggling to grow the sport. I'm keeping motivating them so to work hard, dream big, eh? dream big, don't be scared to dream big. An eyewitness in the shooting of former Springbok Soli Tilbrika believes the rugby player was the gunman's obvious target. Tilbrika was shot dead in a tavern in Nyanga, Cape Town yesterday. The witness, who does not want to be named, says he was watching soccer with Tilbrika when the gunman opened fire. No arrests have yet been made. Soli Kibilika wanted to inspire the youth through sport in a Cape Town community ravaged by gang violence. Life in Nyanga has been like this for the past two decades and rugby administrators in the area are also struggling to motivate youngsters. Recently we're playing uh, Bishop Levy's club and some of their fans were robbed here by this uh, here in this our in younger location. I mean, we are not safe here, but we are trying by all, our all my best to try and bring these boys to play rugby. That's a big challenge that we are having. As you can see our stadium, it's wide open, it's naked. I mean, they should do something better. In Gauteng, Mamelodi Rugby Club also doesn't have a good story to tell. Rugby custodians have seen a decline in numbers in recent years. Uh, this year, I don't know this guy what, what, what they do. They give us 5,000 to run uh, a team for the whole year. The first round, the second round, they were supposed to give us money, uh, uh, that uh, 5,000. They have to break it down and give the guy for transport. Everything. We can't do for nothing with 5,000. After the game, we have to motivate these guys, give them 20 run, 50 run, to show that uh, they must come again. Other guys, are, they come home without eating. And after the game, they go home without anything in, in their stomach. For them, it's, it's unfair. I just find a lot of players, they don't want to come to play rugby again. But change could come sooner rather than later. If Soweto Rugby Union can fulfill its undertakings. We're starting a completely new thing with a view to say that um, what is not happening or what is not there currently in the rugby system in the country, then we need to bring that thing that is missing. We're not seeing, we're not producing black stars and what is missing even in the national team, we're seeing a national team that is selected based on that your grandfather played there and your father and now you are a third generation. There's something missing there that we need to put in there. The idea of a black rugby union is nothing new to South Africa. Back in the days of apartheid, black rugby communities had their own alliances due to the deep racial divisions. If you look at the non-racial areas back then, um, or the, the bodies operating under the non-racial bodies, they, they attracted a, a fair amount of, of people to games. The game was thriving and um, people played rugby and uh, strangely since then, in these areas, the, the previously disadvantaged areas, there's far less people playing rugby these days. The way that rugby is operating in this country, you, 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 you can even think that maybe they are above the law uh, because they've got 14 unions, there's no one who's <clears throat> making sure that they implement what the government says. So it takes me back to what I've said to say that why not a fourth union, why not a 20th union within Saru? Why don't we have 20 um, and try and balance this thing that is missing? While we may not know if Soweto Rugby Union will help revive the sport in the townships, one thing's for certain, not all of South Africa has much to celebrate 20 years after the World Cup. But I do 
feel for those people who think that this is not the time to celebrate. And I think they are justified. Um, I don't think that, that rugby has delivered. I think they've become lax. And um, I think every effort should be made uh, to remind these people of what really their mandate is. It seems the onus is now on the game's administrators to ensure that all South Africans enjoy equal opportunities. So that they too look forward to celebrating future anniversaries as one nation. Ronald Masinda. Cape Town.